Hello and welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today I'd like to talk some really, really good news on or about IOTA. I haven't talked about IOTA for a while, but it's really one of my favorite projects, I believe, um, in looking at the use case and also the projects and everything. I think IOTA will eventually be somewhere in the top five of crypto projects. I mean, that's only my opinion. As you know, everything on this channel is not financial advice. Please always do your own research. But IOTA is really one of my favorite projects. And um, yeah, I haven't talked about IOTA for a while. And the last video I did was actually quite popular. So I thought it's worth sharing that information if you haven't heard about it yet. Uh, I want to talk about the NFT marketplace that IOTA have just launched. Um, so they have just announced um, that, I mean, in May they announced that they were uh, going to launch their NFT marketplace. And what they have now actually um, confirmed on the 13th of July, which was yesterday, that actually the first NFTs have been minted on the IOTA NFT marketplace. Now, what is it? it is basically it is a marketplace for NFTs where you can basically, yeah, mint NFTs. If you don't know what NFTs are, they are non-fungible tokens. So basically it is something unique in digitized form. And currently it is on, it is running on the test net. Um, it is now currently pub in the public testing phase. And, you know, it, it, most, most, and you probably know it, most NFT applications or marketplaces are actually running on Ethereum at the moment. So Ethereum is really, you could say, the king um, for NFT projects at the moment. But the problem, and that you probably know that as well, is that with Ethereum, NFT or um, the gas fees are very expensive. Yes, they have gone down recently, also because there's a little bit less activity on the network, but also because of the, um, you know, Polygon and um, London Hard Fork and stuff like that, they are on their way down and as you also know that ethereum are working on the proof of stake mechanism however that will all take a while and while um ethereum still is proof of work you know it, it just is you know it can handle less transactions and also the fees are quite high so that stops a lot of people actually from engaging in nfts because you know you and me you know like let's say normal people don't have um you know tons of money necessarily um maybe you have I don't, I don't know i don't i don't um necessarily don't want to sp spend these fees and if the nft is you know cheaper than the fees there's no point in doing it but iota come into place here because iota they are not running on proof of work they are not running on proof of stake no they are tangle so their tangle mechanism um, actually ensures that there are no fees. So Tangle is completely free. There are no fees for transactions. Also, the bigger the network gets, actually the more it can handle, which is quite in contrast to many of the other blockchain validation mechanisms or the ways different blockchains are running. They can, even though some of them can take quite a lot of transactions uh, per second now or per minute, whatever, they still at some point will probably get to their... Um, yeah, you know, they, they will sort of become too slow depending on what the actual um, number of people are that actually engage in these transactions. But with the Tangle, it gets faster. It, it gets faster and it can it actually gets stronger the more people are using it and there is no limit. And um, I'm not going to go in, de in detail into how the Tangle works and did that in the previous video, but it is a really unique um, way of uh, running a blockchain and the mechanism of validation and everything. And IOTA, I think I've got the feeling that a lot of a lot of good news are actually coming out at the moment about IOTA. Pretty much, um, yeah, every day is something really significant coming out. I mean, um, they are really, really getting into the use cases now. They have great corporations. I mean, they are really working on the network of the future of the automation, you know, automating cities, automating cars, stuff like that. Internet of Things. I mean, IOTA, IOT doesn't stand for Internet of Things, but... It is still about the Internet of Things and um, many people don't know that IOTA actually is a German company um, and they have a very, very good relationships to the European Union. They have a lot of corporations already with the European Union and I think this is really currently a little bit underestimated still, even though there are many people talking about IOTA, but don't get me wrong, I like Cardano, but a lot of people talk about Cardano. IOTA, not that many people talk about, and I think it really, really has 
a really interesting use case. It sort of stands alone with their Tangle solution. And also, you know, it's sort of government backed or at least um, backed by the European Union because they have these really, really interesting corporations. And um, I think it also is quite, it has an advantage because I think it is one of the few, to be honest, I'm not aware of any other big cryptocurrency project or company that is based in Germany. So with IOTA being one of the major one already co uh, cooperating with some of the German car manufacturers, it certainly has um, a lot of support also on like a government level because obviously the government of a country like Germany, I mean, they are interested also in growing the cryptocurrency um, technology. Yeah, maybe not all aspects of it, but they certainly want to grow the technology because they want to participate as well. I mean, everybody knows that this is the next big evolution. And um, yeah, they certainly will continue to support IOTA. I mean, IOTA has received a lot of also financial support from the European Union. So I have invested in IOTA and I am, um, I will invest more. I think it is really, you know, we've got really good prices here at the moment. And I think it is really exciting. So, I mean, you can use that marketplace at the moment, the NFT marketplace. What I need to say, it is not decentralized yet, but it is supposed to become decentralized because at the, mo at the moment, all the money actually flows through uh, IOTA, but the plan is to have it decentralized. Obviously, only at the moment where they are testing it, it is sort of centralized, but they have plans to make it decentralized. I think that's like the only thing at the moment that you need to be aware of because um, some people are really, really, um, you know, some people just want to engage only with decentralized um, blockchain solutions where this one will become decentralized. It's not yet. It's just a different approach they have. All right. I hope, um, hope you liked the video. If you want to hear more about IOTA on a regular basis, let me know. I think it's certainly a very interesting project. Let me know what you think about the NFT marketplace in the comments. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.